welcome to Audio Tree Live. The date is Wednesday, April 27th. We are so pleased to have with us in the studio this fine morning Matt Anderson and the Bonafide. studio with Matt Anderson and the Bonafide. Thanks for being here today, guys. Uh, you know, no problem. Uh, your latest album is Honest Man, and I read that the title track was based on a U.S. political cartoon. It was, yeah. I was wondering if you guys could uh, specify or elaborate on that. Sure, yeah, actually, uh, Chris and I wrote this one together, and uh, the cartoon was a cartoon of um, Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders having had a debate, and, uh, you know, Trump is saying whatever Trump says. <laughs> That's kind of going right over Bernie's mouth. Bernie's head right into the press, you know, this whole funnel right there, totally skipping him altogether. It was when uh, a lot of the word was that, you know, people were uh, bypassing Bernie altogether and nobody's listening to him. And, uh, 
not going to get too political, but I think Bernie might be the more honest out of the two of those guys. So, Are you sure about that? No. That's, that's my <laughs> gut feeling from north of the border anyway. Yeah, well, what is, uh, you guys are all, all from Canada, or Canadians are living in Canada, and what is your perception just of the U.S. political machine? I mean, is it like a circus, or what do you guys think? <sighs> Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think a, a circus feels pretty good. Yes, he's like it goes on forever. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty long. Yeah, especially is that a lot different compared to Canadian elections? My three my knowledge of that. Is long for us. Three yeah. months is long for us. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah. We got like three years. You know. Yeah. It's yeah pretty seriously. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a crazy thing. Um, when you guys recorded this album, uh, I also read that the final song or the final track that you did vocals for was recorded while Alicia Keys was rehearsing yeah. Above You. Now, did you ever think to go up and say, hey, Alicia, keep nope. it down? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I'm pretty sure I had to walk through a lot of people before I would have got to hers. So. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, we just let her do her thing. Did she know that you guys were there <clears throat> or anything? Or? Probably not, no. Yeah. I don't think she was worried about us too much. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. She's doing fine, I'm sure. I think she was doing all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure up there. Um, did, uh, so she didn't... She, didn't feel like she had to come down and apologize or anything like that. No, I mean, it wasn't an issue. We didn't make a stink about it. It was just we had to wait while she was checking her drums. That yeah, was, you know. no, totally. Uh, great, let's go into another song, shall sure. we? This Thanks. called Give.
You are watching Audio Tree Live. We are in the studio with Matt Anderson and the Bonafide. The song The Gift, uh, which you just played, has a very life-affirming message. Do you find that you tend to value optimistic music, maybe more so than downtrodden or pessimistic music? No. I think it all brings you to the same place eventually. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the pessimistic stuff makes you think about the positive stuff, I think, eventually, <laughs> yeah. anyways. Yeah. Well, as you've gotten older, uh, do you find yourself, just from a writing standpoint, uh, do you, you know, tend towards one viewpoint over the other, like just when you're writing your lyrics? No, it depends on the mood. depends on, you know, what's going on that day and that kind of stuff. No, I wouldn't. Uh, generally, I try to be more positive, I think, just because I try to be positive. Yeah, definitely. You know, in life, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but, sure. uh, and that finds its way in the music, but... Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with a good sad song either. No, of course. And what about the rest of you guys, one by one? Would you can would any of you consider yourself pessimists at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty like fun loving group of guys in general. You gotta be to do this. You gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> miserable musicians just aren't fun to be around at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, totally. I mean, miserable anyone, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, now, some of these songs um, have had a pretty big horn section on them, you know, in certain mm -hmm. live renditions. Obviously, you guys do not have a horn section with you. When you're playing them, do those horn lines that they've come up with ever echo in your head? And or do you ever feel like, oh man, I wish they were they were here for that? Uh, you know, I love having the big band; it's great too. But it's, I love about the setup is the space. You know, sometimes space mm -hmm. says more than the noise. So I'm, I'm loving this. Yeah, no, yeah. totally. Uh, how many uh, members are in the horn section when they, you know, do you we get use, when I use a horn section, it's a four piece horn section. Okay, yeah, yep. so it becomes, I mean, literally it's, it's twice as many. It's a machine, yep. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a different thing altogether, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. And uh, you've covered uh, the band before with them, right? No, so you covered Ophelia when yeah, you had the horn? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a huge, huge band fan. Oh, right on, thanks. Yeah, yeah. W w do you, uh, I know some people only kind of dig their first couple albums, but do you know their entire catalog? Uh, I'm a pretty huge band fan, yeah. There's, I'd go past the first couple for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a big uh, Northern Lights, Southern Crowd. Guy myself, yeah. yeah, that's like my favorite ones. What's your? Do you have a favorite band deep cut that maybe most? Uh, oh, one of my favorite tunes, uh, Twilight. The version they have, it just yeah. at the piano is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You know, that's yeah. pretty haunting. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, what about any any other huge band fans in the house? I'm a big band fan. Yeah. Levon. Levon. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Do you have a certain uh, particular Levon Helm no, song you love? Just played Levon's kit actually not too long. Yeah, we got to do a gig at the Levon's Bar in a couple weeks ago. I recorded oh, an album there as well. So Oh, that's yeah. super cool where he did the Midnight Rambles yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah. I saw him at uh, Old Town School of Folk Music just a, a few weeks before he passed away. Oh, and wow. it was yeah, it was fantastic. I love them. Uh yeah, what was his what's his barn like? I mean, I've never been there. It was a space made for musicians by musician. Yeah. Yeah, it's just all kinds of vibe in there. The people who run the place are really great. Like Levon's vibe is still there for sure. And uh, totally. recording there was great. You know, we did most of the stuff just live off the floor. You know, that that place was made for us. So. Yeah. Well it is funny how, like you said, a vibe can inform a place, even beyond the technical aspects of oh, it, just yeah. the, you, it feels lived in, you know, it feels like mm -hmm. a certain thing. Awesome. Uh, Great, let's go to another song, shall we? Uh, this one's called Breakaway. Great, thank you.
your head held high We could all use a little change Gotta break away Break away Gotta break away Live, we are in the studio with Matt Anderson and the Bonafide. Uh, Chris, you're one of the few musicians to come through here to take advantage of the of the baby grand. Is that something that you don't get to see a lot on the road? No, and uh, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to take it with me. <laughs> sure. How big is your? Uh, I mean, you guys have a bus. It's, yeah, we got a bus. Yeah, I think you. Yeah. I don't need to sleep in that bunk. <laughs> yeah, we can call some movers, like hoist it out and stuff. I mean, have you played in any venues recently that do have a, a baby grand? Levon's Barn. Oh, well, really? Yeah, I had we had a nice. Seven foot Yamaha grand piano and nice. uh, the B3 organ that I'm told uh, maybe uh, Garth Richardson might have played. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, and a little Wurlitzer too. I was in I was in keyboard heaven that day. Yeah, he had like the whole the whole oh, yeah. big setup going on. Yeah. Uh, what do you prefer about a uh, like an actual piano sound above you know just the synthesizer doing it? Well, you can feel it. You know, every piano reacts differently. It's like any acoustic instrument, really. Mm -hmm. you know? um, uh, they're, yeah, they're all different. They all have their own little. Uh, something to say, so uh, yeah. get, getting to know a piano for the first little bit, and then uh, working with it to to play the show. It's a it's a cool thing. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, Matt, on your end, do you have a uh, obviously you play acoustic electric? I mean, do you have a certain guitar that you consider your favorite? Just probably this chosen? one's my co-pilot. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do you have a na uh, name for it? Uh, this one is uh, this one's Lefty. Lefty, ah, very nice, yeah. yeah. That's good, yeah, it's, it's right there with Lucille and... Oh, well, the other one's Poncho, so this is our... Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> is the Poncho one named after uh, Neil Young's guitarist, by any chance? No, uh, the whole, the, the uh, Towns Van Zandt song, Poncho, Poncho and Lefty. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Oh, duh, yeah, yeah I actually didn't know that, yeah. It was either I, that or Fish and Chips, so we went with Poncho and Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I need to get into more uh, Towns Van Zandt. Where would a, a novice uh, listener start with him, you think? Anywhere, he's pretty pretty even keel right across. Yeah, it's always good. Yeah, yeah, just like pretty consistent yeah. and everything. That's awesome. Uh, you guys ready for the next one? Sure. Let's this do one it. Is called Coal Mining Blues. Go in. 
Just a weary reminder of all I used to be. Sunk in red eyes and the lines in my face. A tired old man is taking my. Black on my shoes Black on my heart From these coal mining blues Black on my hands Black on my
You are watching Audio Tree Live. We are in the studio with Matt Anderson and the Bonafide. Uh, that was Coal Mining Blues. Matt, I was wondering if, do you have any personal connection to uh, coal miners or? Um, my girlfriend's dad was a coal miner mm -hmm. and uh, I played with a choir from back home. Actually, they're celebrating their 50th anniversary this yeah. year. They're- uh, Happy birthday. The only uh, North American coal mining choir. So everybody who's in the choir nice. had to be a coal miner at some point. Yeah, so it's pretty amazing. Yeah, uh, what's the choir called? Are they just called the- Called the Men of the Deeps. Oh, great. Yep. Jeff's toured with them a bunch before and uh, nice. yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty special what those guys do. Yeah, uh, Jeff, could you speak to what it's like playing with them? Um, just uh, you know, with them. Uh, well, they're they're just a bit a great bunch of guys, really. It's like they playing have, with your uncles. Playing with your uncles. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah. You got one-liners all day long. Yeah, just and uh, camaraderie. Awesome is, yeah. yeah, it's really amazing. Awesome. Do you, do you remember any of the jokes they told you? I or? don't. I'm really bad at remembering jokes, <laughs> but I laughed a lot. That's a good. That. Does uh, does anyone here have a joke? Craig, do you know any any good jokes? Oh, no one-liners. Jokes. jokes. <laughs> no comedians there. Yeah. Uh, cool. We want to wish a. Uh, you said 50th anniversary. Yeah, 50th Man, for them. That's, yeah. that's pretty wild. It's, no band's been together for 50 years. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, not with the. Uh, well, how uh, how consistent has the lineup been? Have there is there anyone who's been in it for? You know, yeah, the there's, there's time? three or four guys who've been in it since the beginning. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they're up in their days and they, they just did a tour. You know, they said three weeks out on the road, so they're still. Super cool. Still doing it, yeah. Do you guys think you'll be able to play with them at all um, in your coming dates or? Uh, I hope so. Not on this run, but um, I've done a couple shows with them before. And, Excellent. Yeah. yeah, good guys. Yeah, right. Uh, well, cool. Yeah, definitely check them out if you are watching. And let's go into the last song, shall we? Uh, this is Honest Man. Awesome. It's so hard out here 
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Matt Anderson and the Bonafide. Uh, guys, thank you so much for playing here today. It's been a true pleasure. Uh, we want to thank everyone in the studio, sound engineers, for making us all sound good. We want to thank camera and lights for making us look good. Uh, and especially want to thank the viewers at home for watching. If you'd like to support, you can download what you heard today. Uh, you can check out their album, Honest Man. Give a shout out on social media if you want to say hi. And other than that, have a great week. And thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.